What are these pictures all about? You're looking at imaginary art drawn by people from the past. It was a depiction of the future they dreamt of at the time. But this could also soon become a part of our reality. Urban Air Mobility, or UAM, is an air transport that moves passengers and cargo within urban spaces. Why do we want to seek out city skyways? The urban population across the world grew from 29.6% in 1950 by around twofold to 56.2% .2 in 2020. In 2050, 68.4% of the population is expected to live in cities. As city population becomes denser, traffic becomes congested. Rush hour traffic increases both transportation time and cost for logistics, not to mention carbon dioxide, the main cause of climate change. Around 20% of CO2 emissions are generated from transport. That's why some people propose urban air mobility as a solution, with the following advantageous characteristics. First, low noise levels. Because UAM vehicles fly between 300 to 600 meters above the ground, below the altitude of typical planes, the noise must be minimal. Thus, the noise level of UAMs is only about 20% of a helicopter's. Second, it must be able to land and take off vertically. UAMs must occupy minimal space in cities where constructing airstrips is not easily feasible. Third, Running on electric power, UAMs provide sustainable transportation. This UAM will be piloted at the Paris Olympics in 2024. You can travel from Charles de Gaulle Airport to downtown Paris in 10 minutes, a distance that would otherwise take 45 minutes to an hour by car or train. UAMs can be used in a variety of fields, in addition to passenger transport. They can be used for public service, such as reconnaissance missions for monitoring forest fires and transporting emergency patients from dangerous places to medical institutions. Then what about the UAM vehicles we fly on? The outward design is calibrated to the vertical takeoff and landing requirement. Currently, there are three major types of rotor systems. The tilt rotor can take off and land like a helicopter. And when the rotor blades shift forward in the air, it can rapidly cover long distances like an aircraft. It has the advantage of flying at high speed and long distances, but the technical barriers are significant. A multi-rotor UAM comprises multiple fixed vertical rotors and looks similar to drones that are commonly seen today. Its advantage is the relatively low technical barrier that makes it favorable for mass production. Lift and Cruise is a hybrid of the tilt rotor and multi-rotor systems. Featuring a separate takeoff rotor and a propulsion rotor for forward movement, the platform is driven by the power of its vertically mounted rotor. And when it reaches a certain altitude, it flies with a horizontal rotor. The global UAM market is expected to grow rapidly from $2.6 billion in 2022 to $28.3 billion in 2030. Will we finally see a dream of humanity fulfilled by UAM?